Hey, uh, Tom of All Trades here. It's a rainy day on the homestead, so I'm out in the workshop. What I'm doing is uh, I'm gonna talk to you about repurposing materials. What I have is uh, some corrugated metal. We're in the process of restoring a uh, carriage house that was built in 1901. Uh, and from the carriage house, we got this metal that we were gonna take to the scrap yard and recycle. But uh, we got to thinking about how we could use it um, it, it's really nice. I really like how it's uh, patinaed and it's something that you probably couldn't repurpose as roofing material because it's got numerous bullet holes and nail holes and you know it's rusted on one side. But I really like how the age, uh, you know, I, I, did, I stacked the material up thinking I was going to use it for something and I came up with what I'm going to use it for. So we have this room divider or a little uh, staircase banister in the in the carriage house and this is perfect I like the fact that we're kind of you know taking old materials off and then repurposing them not just throwing them away so um, for the project I need a 39 inch piece and I try to cut around any real bad spots this piece isn't too bad but a lot of times the uh, the leading edge or the drip edge is kind of corroded and I'm going to cut, cut that off. So this will yield me two pieces that I can use for um, my project. I'm going to leave the, uh, since it's for an interior application, it doesn't really matter that it has holes in, uh, in the material. And I just like how the, you know, it's kind of rusted and you have some mixture of rusting and galvanization. It just looks kind of interesting. So. In order to cut that, I use a drywall square. Uh, these are available at you know Home Depot or hardware store, and then a sharpie marker to mark the line. Then I'm going to use an angle grinder and a thin cutoff blade just to to cut the line. Of course, uh, gloves and safety glasses being a must. finished product this is where we put those pieces of metal I cut the other day it's just over a uh, stud framed um, uh, little knee wall and it what it does is it's a um, just a little uh, banister so you don't fall over the steps um, you can see I, I used uh, roofing screws to attach it to the frame I cut around uh, where my uh, outlet box was going to be. It's important um, if you're installing the outlet box to either get an extended work box or uh, physically make the work box so it extends out about a half inch from the wall. That way when you, you get a, uh, a plate over that it will set kind of flush. But that's it. Um, you know that's the finished product. Looks really nice. I'm going to coat it with a Penetrol, which is available. It's just a paint conditioner, but it works actually pretty well to just coat the coat the rusty metal and then it won't rust anymore. Eventually I'm going to put a cap rail over this and it'll be all done. Tom of all trades. See you later.